Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, international new artist and educator here. And after trying those uh, stamper French, I thought I'm going to try another uh, stamping hack. And this time we are going to do the crackle effect uh, with the neon pigments. Have a preview of it in here. Yes, lots of fun creating those designs and I hope you will enjoy it at watching with me and uh, recreating those looks as well. So let's start. So I have tried out another trend uh, with the stamper. And that's kind of abstract neon pigment, uh, neon art. I have been using the pigments on the stamper before, so you can use them uh, just like rub the pigment in and uh, transfer the stamper, any design, and you get the pattern you choose uh, using the white um, stamping polish, but it can be also done with the acrylic paints as well. And I will show you how to get this kind of abstract look. I think it's fun to do it. So we are going to use 183, which is a black ink. Now this, this like is a kind of technique as well. So if you do things wrong, it's not going to work. Uh, so I'm just applying a nice and thin layer of the black. And then cook it. Quickly do it the same on the other one. and then cure it as well. On the stamper, I like to use, when working with the pigments, I like to use the wipes just so I'm not like covered with the pigments everywhere. And we will use yellow, orange, and a pink. So I'm picking up the yellow, orange, and then some pink. Okay, you can blend them into nice ombre, but it's not about the ombre. I, I would blend it at much nicer if I would use the stamper for it, um, if I wanted to pick up the design. Now we, the next step, which we are going to do is pick up some white acrylic paint. So uh, not the gel, not like on gel polish, acrylic paint, because acrylic paint is drying on the air. Okay, so I'm just picking up a small scoop. I will use actually my mixing palette um, just to thin it out a little bit with the water, just so it's not too thick, otherwise it will take too long to dry, okay? And then apply quickly and messy over the stamper, like you don't have to spend too much time on it. So first of all, like you can see it here, I've got thicker amount of the paint, let's smudge it. If you apply the acrylic paint too thick, like if you wouldn't thick it, uh, if you wouldn't thin it out, it would take far too long to dry, and um, no one wants to wait as long. Uh, so the, that's the main thing. Like make sure you use uh, water-rich acrylic paint, and they have to be highly pigmented. Uh, it wouldn't work on the, any other color. It has to be white because white is going to pop out uh, our pigment colors. I'm just going to close them and then you will have to wait for it to dry. Once it starts drying, you will see some crackles. I have already painted on the other stamp and the acrylic paints, uh, which is completely dry. wanted to save you a time uh, as well. Another very important thing to mention about it is if you use uh, if you use it on top of the top coat, it wouldn't stick in nice. Uh, so you need this inhibition layer of the black, uh, gel polish in order to stick it in. Okay, so I've got my dry paint here and you can see it is kind of wrinkly like when it's dry. So this one is completely dry, this one is wet. And all you have to do it is just stamp pretty random and it will give you all this pattern. So I want all sort of different colors in there to have those kind of abstract look. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to top coat it. So I'm using quite old top coat. <laughs> I don't want to dirty uh, the brand new one. So cover it with the top coat. And that's another new 
complete. I will show you a few more just so you know what you could create with it. Okay, so on this one I'm going to actually crackle it a little bit more. You could even take it out and you can see it and I can crackle it even more. There was some gel polish uh, which was crackling and uh, nail polish which was crackle effect. That's quite uh, similar uh, results to that. Now let's pick up some yellow. And we've got another one. And then on the last one I will show you when the white is not completely dry because I quite like it as well because then you've got this white too. So apply the top coat. A really fun design to do it and so quick like uh, but the only suggestion I would do it is like uh, for you guys prepare your stamper before because it can lie for a long time and uh, that's not an issue so the stamper can lie for a long time to dry. And then on this one so this paint is not completely dry okay I'm going to crackle it a little bit and pick up some parts where it's crackled plus some parts where I've got white. See, because the paint wasn't dry, I have got the white in there. But I quite like it uh, with the white too. And then once you're happy, again, apply the top coat and that's another design finished. Really fun to do it. I have also played with some marbles and <laughs> stamper French and like all, all sort of different ideas uh, with the stamper. Uh, I'm actually going to show you as well because uh, I can... So this one is cooking. Let's check the full collection of those uh, abstract nails. This one is ready. So we've got another one collection. And then I will show you this ones as well. So that's done with the stamper. Oh, that's done with the stamper too. Uh, just like a wee pink marble. Very like a very quick uh, and easy way of doing it. And I will record tutorial on that too. Uh, plus I have been playing with some colorful French and other things. It's actually um, fun trying um, to came up with some different kind of things and styles uh, with the stamper and I encourage you guys you search your own ideas as well like and discover what else you can create using uh, the stamper so that's the crackle effect it looks super cool actually don't you think cameraman yeah I really like it you like it yeah cool uh, we are liking it uh, so much so and the last one with the bit of white so depending on on the results you get you can have either some white on it uh, when the paint is not completely dry or just a pigment color when the paint is uh, dry i'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and hope you have really enjoyed watching this video if you're new in here don't forget to subscribe bye